Hi everyone, welcome back. So for uh, this video, what we'll be doing is uh, I'll be walking you through how to find probability using StatCrunch uh, if you're given z-scores. Okay, so z-scores use the normal curve. So what we'll do is we'll go into Stat, Calculators, Normal. Okay, so if we're using z-scores, you want to leave the mean at 0 and the standard deviation at 1. Okay, so here we're given a z-score. So what I'll do is I'll enter that here. And I click on Compute. This matches the picture I'm given, so that's correct. So that means this is our area. Okay, um, <clears throat> let me walk you through another problem. Okay, so here it's asking for the area to the left of this negative value and to the right of this positive value. Now, the downside to StatCrunch is that you can't do the area outside. So here's what we'll do. Okay, we'll get the we'll click on between. Okay, then since we're still dealing with z-scores, we'll leave this at 0 and this at 1. And we'll put the negative z-score here. And the positive z-score here. Okay, so if we compute, that's the area between these two values. Now, we want the area in the unshaded parts. So if you remember that the total area under the curve is equal to 1, we can subtract this area from 1. So if I do that, and just put the whole thing in just to be safe, okay, so that is the area to the left of our negative value and to the right of the positive value. Alright. Well, that's it for uh, this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my next one.